while you think about oh that, God. I'm going to go to the newsroom. Up next for you, live to a fresh protest on Flinders Street as the Chief Commissioner vents his frustration. A family's urgent warning on lithium batteries after fire destroyed their home. Bondi Junction's solemn reopening to the public. The priest stabbed in a Sydney church says he forgives his attacker. Nathan Buckley auctions memorabilia as part of his divorce settlement. Melbourne's new blockbuster that's out of this world. And all of this week's AFL teams live. Your news, Nine News is coming up next. Candace. Tonight, fed up, Victoria's top cop blasts serial protesters as activists once again disrupt city streets. A teenage girl arrested after another shopping centre brawl. We're live to Melton. Nathan Buckley's treasured memorabilia going under the hammer amid a bitter divorce. Grieving community members make a tentative return to Bondi Junction as Westfield reopens. A lithium battery blamed for a blaze that destroyed a family's home. They're warning to others. And a special centenary celebration for a lifelong Pies fan. This is Melbourne's Nine News with Alicia Loxley and Tom Steinfurt. Good evening. Victoria's top cop says community safety is at risk, revealing thousands of officers. Harris, Edward Godfrey, Nine News. And now with a look ahead to tonight's sport, Tony Jones is at Marvel Stadium. Yes, thanks, Alicia. As you very well know, this is almost like an elimination final here tonight. The Bulldogs up against St Kilda. Also coming up a little later on in sport, Chris Scott on the good guy clause. Sunshine will make it bearable, Alicia and Tom. All right, very good, Lavinia. Thank you. When we return, the Wild West, a planning stash, leads to the cancellation of a pub opening at the 11th hour. Turbulent times for Boeing. Damning claims its planes could break apart mid-air. And a volcanic eruption prompts a tsunami alert in Indonesia. An embarrassing false start for the owners of a new Footscray... ...of the once mighty checkbook this week. Chris Cola again. If you've never written a check, you probably never will. ANZ this week joined... ...the chance of light showers. Tomorrow, an early shower or two across Melbourne, then a partly cloudy day with light breezes, and for the city, a top of 18 degrees. So some sunny days in there to look forward to. Very good news, Lavinia. Thank you for that. And that is Nine News this Thursday. Layla is next with The Current Affair. We hope you have a fantastic evening. For now, though, it's good night.